Welcome to Stacy King Can. We are making strawberry rhubarb pie filling today. And uh, some of the ingredients you're gonna need is uh, some rhubarb. Uh, you need five cups of rhubarb, five cups of strawberries. You need two cups of sugar, a cup of clear gel, um, two cups of water, and a half a cup of bottled lemon juice. Now remember with lemon juice, you need to make sure that it's bottled because the pH is consistent uh, throughout the entire bottle, whereas it varies so much between lemon to lemon, fruit to fruit, etc. So bottled lemon juice is best for preserving. Um, and so make sure you use some bottled lemon juice. You're also gonna need, uh, tool-wise, you're gonna need your, um, you know, your jars. This is gonna make two, anywhere from two to four quarts. So just be prepared for this particular recipe. Um, and that's what we're using today. You're gonna need some paper towels. Um, you're also gonna need your funnel, your jar lifter, your headspace tool, your lid lifter, and um, maybe a ladle. I, I kind of feel like the spatula does a better job scooping it out, and I'll show you more later. Now, when I mentioned clear gel, clear gel is a chemically modified cornstarch, and it gels very well after baking and after canning. So, um, regular corn starches that or regular starches in general get really runny and they kind of clump up in the canning process. So it's best to use clear gel. It's not as easy to find. You do need to go, uh, it's best to find it online. I, that's where I got it was online. Um, it's, uh, you, you have to look around for that. There are some stores that will carry it, but for the most part, I've only found it online. So um, it's best to use the clear gel. It works very, very well. So uh, from there, and oh, you also need your saucepan for lids. I am gonna be heating up my lids today because I'm using a water bath canner for that, um, for processing the jars today. So um, let's get canning. So now we're gonna add the cup of uh, sure gel, starch, and the two cups of sugar together. And I'm gonna give this kind of a quick stir. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the heat up. You wanna do medium heat and um, bring that to a boil with the sugar and the sure gel. Careful as you stir, it does get clumpy and gloppy. I use a whisk, it just seems to be and it's a, a, it's a fat whisk. It just seems to be a great tool to use for this. So we want to bring this to a boil. And once we get it to a boil, we will add in the half a cup of, uh, half a cup of lemon juice. Now, keep in mind, this is going to thicken up very quickly. So if you, need to add um, some more water. I do have a glass of water over here to add to kind of um, thin it out a little bit until it comes to a boil, because it does take a second to get bring it up to a boil. The other thing you're gonna notice while you're stirring this up is that it's got these like white clumps in it. After you run it through the uh, water bath canner and get it, uh, get it processed, then the, um, those white clumps they dissolve and you get a really pretty clear uh, pie filling. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of water in this because it's getting pretty thick and it's hard to stir. And when you add the water, be careful because it does like slop up along the sides and I've had some of this gel hit me in the face and it's a little warm, a little hot potato spatter in your face. So it's, it's a, uh, it's pretty glumpy and clumpy. Now we have a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the half a cup of bottled lemon juice. Um, and we're gonna give this a quick stir and we're gonna bring it to a boil for one minute. So timer went off, I'm cutting the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add your, uh, add the rhubarb. The rhubarb and the strawberries. And 
we'll go ahead and get this all stirred in. We're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start filling the jars. So it's always good to put You want to make sure you put um, a warm jar. Um, use a warm. You want to make sure you use warm jars um, when you put in hot items into the So the interesting thing with this recipe is we're going to go ahead and kind of smush things down a little bit in the jar because you need to add for, for this pie filling um, and for most pie fillings, you need to give it one and a half inches of headspace, which is a lot, but uh, you got to allow for some of the juices to um, release when you're cooking the berries up and the rhubarb. And so I do know that that's one inch and we're going to go down another zoop. That's about one and a half inches right there. So take your paper towel, make sure to clean around the edges. Very good. Use your lid lifter. And give it a good hand tighten. And into the canner it goes. And repeat. Okay, so we have we have them all in the canner. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this down gently. We were able to get four pints out of this. The jars are a little floaty. Um, because the liquid really hasn't been reduced yet from the fruit in the canner. So you might have to do a little adjusting. This is floating up, so you got to make sure to push that down. We're going to make sure that we have enough water in the canner that covers the jars a full inch. And that should do it. So I've got it to a boil. And we're going to uh, cover the lid. And once we get it to a rolling boil, we'll set the timer for 30 minutes for this recipe. So now we have a rolling boil. Check that out. Rolling boil. Ah! Remember, open the lid away from your face. We have a rolling boil, so we're gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. Now I did turn the heat down just a little bit uh, because the um, you just don't want it to boil over uh, and lose too much water. So um, I put it down to about medium high, making sure we have a rolling boil. Check out my glasses, they're getting foggy. Um, and um, so there you go. Um, if you'll notice that uh, when I was stuffing the jars that it did not bubble. The reason for that is the sure gel is almost like working with jello. And when you're working with a substance like that, it's just, it's really thick and clumpy and goopy. So it's hard to run, uh, especially around the edge of, at the inside of the jar to release bubbles. So the best thing to do is just kind of shove your hands in there or shove a tool in there to kind of smoosh things down as much as possible. Um, you're going to release a lot of the bubbles while you're uh, water bath canning and the uh, boiling here in the processor um, as the 
uh, the juices from the fruit will start to release and then fill up. Because remember, we're doing a, an inch and a half of head space there. So you're leaving quite a bit of room from the, from the top of the food to the top of the jar. So this way, it'll allow for a lot of that air and those bubbles to come out of the jar to give yourself a, give your jar a proper seal. So the timer has gone off and I've turned the heat off of the canner. We're gonna go ahead and lift the lid carefully. Make sure that the uh, uh, lid goes away from your face so you don't get a facial you don't want. Uh, we're gonna gently lift the rack out. We're gonna carefully remove the jars. And look at that color there, isn't that pretty? Beautiful, beautiful uh, rhubarb pie filling. So that is strawberry rhubarb pie filling. Um, it was great canning with you today. Check out the show notes for more details. Make sure to um, like and subscribe my page. The notes, will, it will have uh, the recipe and some other resources in it and ingredients and things that you need. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please reach out to me on Facebook, Stacy Can Can. You can at me on Instagram, at Stacy Can Can. My website is www.stacycancan.com. And you can email me at info at stacycancan.com. Uh, it's been a great day, as I said, canning and uh, preserving some deliciousness for the winter. So I look forward to chatting with you again soon and happy canning.